1964 Cub Cadet 100. I just picked this up. It's original. It's basically untouched besides the tires. Does it run? It's got a rod broke, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to remove the engine, see what kind of damage we got. See if it's repairable or if I have to look for another engine. Headlight panel. The 10 horse color. It's the bigger, the big block engine. I'm used to the John Deere's. They've got the smaller engines that go up to, I think, 8 horsepower. This is the big one. Somebody butchered the frame right there to get to the, looks like they tried to get to the top of the shifter. I'm going to weld another piece in if I can find a parts tractor for that piece. Everything looks pretty untouched under here. Look at the big battery tray. That was 63 and 64. 65 they went with a small tray to fit that smaller garden tractor battery. It did have the headlights from back in the day. There's the original switch. Big plans for this one. This is going to be my first Cub Cadet restoration. I've already did numerous John Deere's. I've got four, four Cubs right now. I've got a uh, 1250, a 1450. I've got this little 100, and then I've got a, I've got a 68 Low Boy. The Low Boy I use, I used it all summer. It's got a 60 inch belly deck on it. It's a 42 inch deck. Pretty heavy duty decks back in the 60s. This is all this is all cast iron. Unlike the John Deere's, this is all this whole front's all cast iron. This here's cast iron. I mean a well-built little tractor. The transmission is it's a pretty good sized transmission. They're huge. I plan on getting the rear lift and the three point for it. Make it a hydraulic lift for it. I'm not sure. They're hard to find. This bracket here is for if you run a if you run a plow in the front. Got the generator like the deers I'm used to doing. Skinny's up front. Got the big cleaty eggs in the back. I'm sure they're old. They're old good years. I can pull the trailer with it. It's got the hitch. It's got the pan seat I'm used to. Hey, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to start tearing it apart. Next time you see it, the engine will be apart. That's it. Be back in a while. It's been about 20 minutes and the motor is out. All you have is uh, you got your your choke cable, your throttle cable. Take the three bolts out of the uh, out of the clutch. You got four bolts. I took the uh, starter generator off. I took the belts off. You can slide the motor. You can slide the motor forward this way and get the motor out. It would be better if you take the the grill out of it because I knocked this little. The little rubber off the PTO, I'll have to replace it. If I would have had the, the grill out, that wouldn't have happened. Other than that, it's off. Yeah, there's where your where your clutch hooks up, your four bolts, and there's uh nothing going on in there. Something's missing. I'm just hoping the rod cap bust it off and I'm hoping I can save the crank. If not, I'll look for another crankshaft but I'll probably end up replacing the motor and maybe save it for later, a later rebuild. That's it. I'm going to pull the motor apart and I'll be back. Okay, I got a mess. Motor's apart. And what did I find in the bottom of the pan? <laughs> the rod. The rod bearing looks okay to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up. But I mean, it, it looks fine. The bore looks good. The, uh, the 
piston was our, it's already been gone through. It was it's a 10 over piston. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take some uh, light sandpaper and polish the crank. It measures 1.509. It's pretty consistent all the way across. It's got a couple you know heat marks, but I mean nothing grabs your finger nail. Let me set this down and I'll flip it over and show you the crank. There's a crank. And the journal really, it really doesn't feel bad. It's pretty consistent all the way across. And you can see the scoring on it, but there's really no deep grooves in it. I'm just going to polish it, make sure what size journal it is, but yeah, there's really, you can't really feel it. I think I'll be okay. This, this tractor won't see a lot of heavy use anyway. It's going to be a restoration project. So it'll, it'll pull a wagon. Might go in some parades. I mean, it should be fine. Camshaft looks okay. Cleaned all the pieces out. I'll flush the block real well. But other than that, yeah, I think I'm good. Got a little bit of carbon buildup. Yeah. I'll get on ice safe tractors and we'll order the parts up and uh, we'll get it back together. I'll be back when we're assembling it.